it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Paper Maze. And I'm working with Vicky Bootin's Sweet Rush collection um, and I'm starting off with a cut file as the base of my layout today. It's been a long time since I've used a cut file and I was really in the mood for it. So I've got this kind of pie chart cut file from, I think it's from Cut To You, and I've cut it twice. So the first cut is from the B side of the Simple Pleasures patterned paper, which is that gorgeous heart pattern. And then I've cut it a second time on black cardstock, slightly bigger. Um, and then I've kind of layered them up um, and stuck them together. Now I could have just cut the cut file in black and then backed it with the pattern paper. <laughs> that was a bit more effort than um, doing it the way I did. So I've taken the easy route and just cut it twice. And I'm going to have that sat on the centre of my page um, and my little boy is coming to help me. Um, I want to have a little bit of colour behind my cut file. So I've pulled out a Distress Oxide in Mermaid Lagoon. Now this colour kind of features in that heart patterned paper, but it also um, matches the colour of my little boy's t-shirt in my photo. So that's why there's loads of different colours um, in that heart paper. Um, and I picked this one because it went with my little boy's t-shirt. Um, and uh, he's helping me try and apply my ink. Uh, it was taking forever, bless him, but he does like to help. Um, it's not often I scrap when he's awake, but obviously on this day I did, um, and he's popped into the craft room to sit with me. So it looks a little bit of a mess at the moment, but as you can see, most of that will be covered up with uh, my cut file. And I'm just using ink blending brushes there in a circular motion. Um, it comes with a little hand again. Um, and I'm going on with the same colour, so Mermaid Lagoon, and just adding some splatters all around the edge, trying to concentrate it where I've used that ink, and then just coming out a little bit onto the white um, so that I know it's going to show underneath my cut file. Now, you might have noticed um, when I showed you my photo just now, it's not a complete circle. Uh, and it's just because the way the photo was taken, my little boy was stood more to the left um, on the photo. So I couldn't cut a photo circular and get both him in it and the cup. So the cup he's holding is like a, um, like a tropical pineapple plastic cup and it's got a um, flamingo sort of paper straw thingy. I don't know what you call it, but it was very tropical um, and it worked really well with a few elements and colors in this collection. And um, it's been on my path to scrap for ages. So as you can see, trying to get a circle um, when he was more to the left of the page was impossible. So I've um, sort of printed it going off the page. And as you can see, I've got a straight edge over on the left there, but that's okay because I'm gonna cover that up with embellishment um, and make it work. So because I've got that black cardstock outline um, on my cut file, I've mounted my photo onto white cardstock first and then again onto black. Just find that black really pops against all the bright colors. So I've put a layer of black behind that as well. Um, and now I'm working on covering up that edge. So that lovely lemonade glass worked perfectly for that. And I'm pulling out different bits from the Icon Ephemera pack. This is like the die cut ephemera you get with the collection. So I'm going for all the tropical things because we were on holiday in this photo. It was uh, last August and he's drinking from his tropical glass. We just arrived on holiday and I'd had these glasses delivered. We were staying at my parents and I'd had my, these glasses delivered so that when we arrived, he could have a nice tropical um sort of welcome drink for his holiday so really cute and i will write some journaling about that on the back um, but that's why i've pulled out so i've got a lemonade glass i've got a pineapple a palm tree and that lovely palm leaf um, and i've also added a couple of clouds as well i've cut one of them in half and saved that for a, a later date as it would have been covered up but i've just made two clusters one either side of my photo I'm um, using all those tropical bits and I've used the Hello Sunshine piece from the same Icon Ephemera pack for my title as well. And again, that's just another black and white element um, that really pops against the colours. And another thing I did with the black is, um, I did show you very briefly at the beginning of the video, I've taken a black fine liner pen and actually drawn around some of the hearts on the cut file, or sorry, on that patterned paper, just to make them pop a little bit more. Um, it just kind of had an unfinished feel to it so by drawing an outline on some of the hearts um, it just made me a little bit happier uh, can't explain why it just did um, and helps a couple of them pop so um, yeah just used a fine liner pen for that and you'll see that more in the close-ups 
I've added a few fussy cut flowers there in orange and pink. Those are from the Daisy Chain patterned paper. And now I'm going through the cardstock stickers, just adding a few bits on here. So I've added a couple of arrows. Um, I've got a couple of butterflies, a few little word sentiment type pieces. And again, all the colours coordinate really well with the photo and that patterned paper that I've used for the cut file. So just having a flick through the sticker book now, just seeing what I can add. And I come across a few little star stickers. Um, I've got the sticker book and I've not really used lots of it. So I wanted to get at least a few on the page. So I've pulled out some stars and they've got a black outline on them as well. So they tied in really nicely with the kind of design of the page. And um, I've added those to the background cardstock. Didn't want to put them on my cut file because they're just going to get lost against that patterned paper. So I've popped those on the white cut file and it just kind of extends the design out a little bit. And then just finishing off with a couple of these layered heart embellishment stickers. Um, and again, picking colours that match my colour scheme. And that is me done for today. So thank you very much for joining me. It was a nice quick layout today. That cut file did a lot of the background work for me. So it's just a case of embellishing on top of that. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it and you've found it useful and it's given you some inspiration. I will pop some links in the description box below. One to the Paper Maze website, obviously, where you can buy the collection. And another to the Paper Maze blog, where I've added links of all the products I've used on this layout. So do head on over and have a read of that. Um, and you'll also find all the blogs from the other DT members as well. Um, just the information about their layouts so thanks again for joining me i'll leave you with the rest of the close-ups and i'll see you next time